Well hello everyone, I'm Yanni from the UVU Gaming and today we are going to check out Floating Farmer. So you guys might remember last week we checked out Island Farmer which is more like a tile swapping jigsaw puzzle game, so very memory based and I think it was back in March or so we took a little look at Instant Farmer which was a more of a logic based puzzle game where we had to move the tiles around and try and get all the farm fields watered. Uh, well, this is the third game in the series and the most recent addition. And uh, in this one, we have to um, use a Rubik's Cube mechanics to try and bring our baby animals and grown animals together. And the reason it's called Floating Farmer is because all, because all the little islands are floating in the sky. So once you solve the puzzle, they are going to be brought back down to the ground. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try and check it out. You, in here you can see all the, the levels and there are actually 50 levels in the game. So there is a lot of uh, levels to work on. Options wise, well, there's just a little bit of audio options. You can switch between full screen and window. You can choose whether or not have vSync. And there are a couple different languages to choose from here. So anyway, let's just jump into this. I have a feeling this one is going to be harder than the other ones, but we will see. Because it's not going to be as hard as Rubik's Cubes are, but something along those lines. Uh, something unusual happened. All animal farms are now floating in the sky. The path was shuffled and the baby animals were spread. Slide the blocks and rebuild the broken paths. So you help moms unite the families again and bring the farms back to land. Ooh. Okay, so mom's path starts here. Home path ends here. Path and grass are movable blocks. Stone is static blocks. Baby, don't leave it behind. Now click and drag to organize the path. Mm. Okay, so stone blocks we can't move. So these ones should be stationary. I don't think we can do anything. See, nothing happens if we do this. Nothing happens if we do this or this. Can't move it at all. We can't move these blocks either because this is kind of a stationary point. This is where we start. This is where we end. So the only things we can move is this. And of course, we want our mummy here to uh, be brought together with the baby and then bring them both in here. So this is where the Rubik's Cube mechanic comes into play. That when you drag, of course, in this case, we only have two tiles. But you can imagine if this field gets bigger, then it's more than two tiles you're going to be moving. So there we go, I got my first achievement. Nice. Okay, so what does this do? Okay, kind of... Sw oh, I think it's because this is like a top-down view. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. And then we can rotate. I uh, can't remember what this one does. We had the same, some of the same buttons in the previous game. But here we go. Okay, hey, your ornamental blocks on the side are fixed. They are not part of the puzzle. Indeed, so these two don't really matter. But now we actually have trees. So if I pull here, I'm going to pull all three of them, which means this is going to end up over here, right? Um, so what we want to do is we want to go from here to there. How do we best do that? Um, well... I kind of like to have this over here, right? We, and we have this. We have these two paths. That's the only ones we have to work with. So to get this to work, we want the corner one over here. And we want the baby to come over here. Uh, we can't move this, but I assume we can move these two still. So let's try this. If we pull it this way, then they switch um, places. And then if we pull this way... Right, and then we are going to pull this way. Aha! And then we are going to pull all of these this way. Poof! There we go! Look at that! Yeah! Nice! They got home and it gets placed back down. I kind of like this little addition there that it kind of ends up down here. That's nice. Okay, so let's go to the next one. 
So of course it's not as hard as when you're sitting there with a Rubik's Cube. I assume you guys know what that is. Most of us have probably tried playing around with one of those, at least as kids. Uh, but it's kind of a similar mechanic, of course, that you kind of rotate things around either this way or that way. Um, and then try and get everything kind of pulled together. Uh, of, course, of course, with a Rubik's Cube, it's just colors that you want to all have. All the sides of the Rubik's Cube, what you want them to have the same colors. So one side is yellow, one is blue, and so on. So, but it's a similar mechanic, right? So anyway, uh, we want to go from here to there. And we already have a corner over there. That should not necessarily be a bad thing. But then we have a corner and a corner. Well, that makes me think that I would like this one to be over there. So that we can go like this, right? Because we only have corners to work with. Which means we want to go like this. So I can pull you over there. This one I would want to have over here. And this one I would want to have there. Um... Okay, let's start with this one. That should pop it into, then it's in the right place. But then we have to get these two. Um, let's, um, no, let's wait. Oh yes, we do want to do this first because then we get this moved here. Because if I had moved this first, I would have moved that as well as this one. If I had put it over there, it would have been moved over here, right? So this looks about right. And then we put you there, and then they can go into the little shelter. Nice, we got another achievement. Cool. There's 50 levels, but I think there's only like 10 achievements or something for the game. So I don't know exactly what you get. It's probably for the first few levels, and then maybe level 50 or something gives you an achievement. Um. Okay, cool. And yeah, of course, if you prefer, oh, okay, click the turn button or use the arrow keys to rotate. Click on the question mark button to see all commands. Okay, oh, this is the turn one. So you can either do it like this or you can just use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And this one, of course, is if you prefer to look at it, this, if you find it that easier to look at. I actually think I prefer this one. I feel like this gets a little confusing somehow. I don't know. We'll see. What is it this one does? I've forgotten. I never actually really figured that out in the previous game either, I think. I tried clicking it, but it doesn't really seem to do anything. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not missing anything or any functionality like that at the moment. So this one we would like to have over here, right? We want to go like this. This is kind of a straight piece. Oh no, this is where the mummy is, yes. So this one we will want to... Oh, we're going to want to have them switched around a little bit. Um, I kind of want this one to be in the middle. Uh, do, 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 do. I want you to be over here. And then have this one and then have this one. How can I... Switch them around. Ooh, um, what is it I say I want? I want this one to actually be over there, and this one needs to be over there. Um, ba -ba -ba, so I'm kind of have two, and I can't move anything here. I can't move anything there. I can't move anything there. So it's not like I can just kind of pull this out and then move it. Mm, I can switch these around though so that is kind of what i want right i want this one to be there and then this one there uh-huh and then oh no let's just pull it this way and then like this that should be right and then we do like this aha yep <laughs> And I'm never going to make it through 50 levels of this. <laughs> uh, this it definitely feels trickier than the other ones. The last one, the 
uh, island farmer one is not really hard at all. I actually completed the last levels today, just been playing it off camera, of course, because I just did a little first look video of it. But it's not really hard, and you, of course, in that one, you can just kind of check the picture all the time. But it is a nice little memory um, exercise to try and uh, remember what the picture is when you're trying to do a jigsaw puzzle thingy. Uh, but it's not tricky at all. This one is kind of trickier because you do have to think about your moves, try and be strategic about it and get them into the right positions. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. You have to go to there to there. We have two corners. Hmm. I have two of these. I think we want the corners to go over here so that we actually go the entire way around. Hmm. So this one needs to go over here, that one needs to go over there, this needs to go over there, this needs to either stay here or end up over there, oh boy, and then this needs to be here. Uh, okay, so if I all you, eight, eight, two, two, two. and then or this way then these two are where they need to be then we are gonna pull this like this then I kind of need to get them switched around don't I well, I do want this to be here but then I need to get this over here and the problem is if I pull then this it's pulled as well, right? So how do I get something in between these two? Um. Hmm. I've always hated Rubik's cubes, so it's a terrible thing I got this game, as I do see the same kind of mechanic. It also reminds me a little bit of these tile sliding puzzles. I'm terrible at those. I don't know why. There's a lot of uh, logical puzzle games that I really like, but um, not really this. Okay, so now I'm gonna do... Uh, not exactly what I wanted. Go back. Mm, end up over there. I kind of want you to end up there. Okay, so let's pull. This is going to be such a mess. But there we go. Now they are where they need to be. But then these are not really where they need to be, right? So, hmm. Like I said, I'm terrible at this. So, okay, now we have you in there. Do. And then, oh, 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 where is it? Well, you actually have to be in the middle. Hmm. And you need to be there, right? <laughs> it's that I'm I'm the worst at this. I'm really bad at this. There we go. Okay, so now we're that far, right? Mm. And then that's about right, isn't it? Pull back one. Yes, got it. <laughs> oh man. Oh yep. Okay. Well, we got it. I got it finally. <sighs> okay. Let's just try and see if we can do one more. Ah, uh, the mess was so big that some farms have extra path blocks that won't be, what did it say, needed to fill in the path? Okay. So sometimes we won't need all of them, I guess. Just to make it confusing. Um. Hmm. Well, I could see this one needing to be... We need to get this 
also over there, right? So and this has to go over there, and that has to go there. So let's try and switch these two around, and then switch these two around, and then we're gonna do this. Ooh, but now we have yeah. Mm -mm -hmm -hmm. Um. Mm. Okay, so if we move you away, move you over one, then get that in there. So now we have these two next to each other, and then move it back again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just like that. Oh, that went just perfectly. I went just perfectly. <laughs> well, it's fun when you figure it out, right? It? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see what the next one looks like. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. But uh, I'm just going to end this right here. just wanted to show you guys this little one as well. Because I did already show off the previous two games. Uh, and I think you guys get the idea here. Uh, so just kind of drag things around, try and get everything placed so that you can move your uh, baby or your parent animal in there and bring the little baby along and then that is it, you have completed the puzzle. Uh, but I feel like this one is more challenging than the previous ones. I think the last one we just did, the island farmer, that's the easiest one. Uh, you do have to do some thinking with the instant farmer one as well. But it's just nice little games. I'm kind of curious to see. I think this one was released back in August or something. So I'm curious to see if they're going to add more in the series. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought about it. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. And... Do take care and happy gaming!